Hi people, I figured I'd make this video showing you where to obtain the best ones for the Facilitas fight in AQ40. In this video, I'll take into consideration how much effort you have to put into obtaining the wand and how fast it is. I will consider a easily obtained 1.5 wand to be better than a very hard to obtain 1.4 wand. I will, however, mention all the wands which might be of interest for one reason or another. I'll also say that even mages should be interested in watching these wands, especially horde mages. Even though mages have Frostbolt, which with talent can have a faster attack time than the wands, the global cooldown will prevent them from utilizing that. This is something that the wands will allow them to do. So, depending on how much effort you want to put into this as a mage, you could either stay with the 1.5 Frostbolt, which is still solid, or improve with 7% by getting a 1.4 wand, or improve as much as 14% by getting a quite expensive and very rare wand. Anyway, let's get into this. The wand I'd recommend Horde players to go for is the Shield Nail Splinter, a 1.4 speed wand which is given as a quest reward from a short chain in the Dust Wallow Marsh. The chain starts with a quest identifying the brood, which requires you to kill a bunch of dragonlings. Next come some go talk there, then come back here, and so on, followed by the breaking of some eggs, after which you can finally challenge Overlord Mokmorok, who will give you the wand once defeated. This quest chain can probably be completed in half an hour, depending on how much competition there is for the welcomes. The wand I'd recommend for alliance players, as well as horde players who, for whatever reason, can't or don't feel like obtaining the shield nail splinter, is the Captain Backmore's Tiller, a 1.5 speed wand. This wand is the easiest one to obtain. Head to the northwestern Desolus and run to the coast. There, look for a wrecked small boat. Buy the boat, click the log and accept the quest. Next, you need to kill Nagas for the golden key and large shrimps for the silver key. Once you have obtained both, swim out to the island over here and turn it in to the chest. Now, unless you have A, already done both of these quests and sold a wand, or B, not seen a wand that satisfies your need for elongated objects, then you're pretty much done watching this video. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more and check out the stream at twitch.tv slash clouds. If you, however, want to go harder, or if you messed up, we will look into some other wands. The fastest wand in the game is a rare drop from Razor Fan Downs, only available to mages. With a 1.3 seconds attack speed, it's the best weapon against Visidius in the game. It is, however, only available to mages. On the plus side, it is BOE, so it can be bought on the auction house for quite a few hundred golds. Another wand that is farmable is the 1.4 speed wand inside Normagon. This one is however binds on pickup and is still pretty rare, despite being a uncommon item. Apparently, it's also the first frost damage wand in the game, at least according to this guy. Meanwhile, this wand is faster than the... Um, other wand I recommended for alliances, it is quite hard to obtain, so I'd recommend going for the first mentioned wand or the one I'm going to mention now. Show Rush in Dharmal North has a 40% chance to drop a 1.6 speed wand. Meanwhile, a tad slower, it is the easiest farmable wand for people who have sold their quest reward wands. And now the video is over for real. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another video, until then, see ya.